Hello and welcome. I know a lot of you have heard about secrets and secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone and I'm not gonna hurt you by keeping this recipe because I'm about to show you how to make the best mashed potatoes this holiday season. Now, all of you from Idaho are using Idaho potatoes. I don't want you to be jealous because today I'm gonna be using some amazing Monte Vista Colorado potatoes. Shout out to all my friends here in Colorado. Since this is somewhat of a cooking show, I've already peeled and chopped my potatoes. I peel them into small little bits because what we're about to do next is gonna transform the mashed potatoes. I always like to share when I find a big, big pan that doesn't take up that much space. Cloud is going to link this one in the description area because it's a must. It's a set and it's under $100 and it's from the Corot brand that you guys are going to absolutely love. Now let's go ahead and start our burner to a medium high heat. You're going to add one teaspoon of salt, your potatoes, and you're going to add milk. How much milk? Enough milk to cover your potatoes. Give that a gentle mix so that salt doesn't stay at the bottom. And we're just gonna wait for our pot to come up to a boil. Okay, our pot is looking sassy. Once you see it start to boil, you're gonna find that you're gonna get a little bit of that milk film from the top. Don't worry about it. What you wanna do now is you wanna place your burner on a medium heat and you're gonna continue to boil until your potatoes are nice and soft. That should take me anywhere from 12 to 14 minutes. Make sure you come and stir periodically. We're working with milk and you don't want to burn the milk because you'll get the same smell as burnt beans. We don't want that to happen. So just take your time, give it a little stir, and watch the magic happen. It's milk, it's gonna happen. So if you see the film, remove as much of it as you can. Now what you want to do is you want to strain your potatoes. You're going to say, oh, I don't want to dispose of so much milk. Not to worry, you can strain it into a bowl and save it for something else like caldo de queso. We've strained our potatoes, we cleaned our pan. Now it's time to place your burner on a medium heat and allow one stick of butter to melt with one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. You can also use some half and half. Next, you're gonna add your potatoes. Turn your burner off and start mashing. And boom, done. Our mashed potatoes aren't done. If you like to add a little bit more butter, you're more than welcome to. I think you should try it with the steps that I've given you before you start adding anything else to your potatoes, like more butter or cream, because I can't remember last time I had mashed potatoes and they actually tasted like potatoes that were mashed. And I think this recipe is really gonna impress a lot of you guys. It's actually better than steakhouse mashed potatoes with less work. And then you can just garnish with a little bit of chives. Now I'm going to need whoever wants to try these delicious mashed potatoes to say ah. Uh... It's come to my attention that you've been criticized for your cooking and guess what? So was I when I was four years old. I had no business cooking and I didn't care. I kept practicing until I mastered each recipe and then I started experimenting with a lot of the wild recipes you see today. But I'm going to tell you this, start with one recipe, master it and don't move on until you perfect that recipe. That means you might be eating a little TV dinners here, going to your tia's house and getting some food, but practice one recipe and once you master it, you're gonna be the master of your kitchen and forget what everybody else says because you're cooking for your family, not for the world. I said what I said. Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios.